six packs in a big bag of ice. The two six packs in a big bag of ice. All right, now it's time to move your pot down to the floor. Uh, uh, you know, scrap piece of carpet would be nice to protect the pot from getting scratched up. Uh, you're gonna want to get a center punch. This one's a little big for what we need to do here. But the first thing you're gonna do is center punch all of your holes. So here's our thermometer hole. Again, these marks are not super important, but so you make a center punch mark. Um, and the reason we do that is to keep the drill bit from walking around. And I'll My favorite kind of drill for drilling stainless is a cordless, a high quality cordless drill like this uh, DeWalt XRP that has a gear ratio speed adjustment. So this actually is a low speed high torque and then that's high speed low torque. Drilling stainless, you need to go slow, but you need to have a lot of torque behind it. The first thing that's important is that you use something like a 1 8 drill bit to make pilot, hole, pilot holes first. Um, use some kind of lubricant, whether it's olive oil, cutting fluid, uh, 30 weight, whatever you got. I'm just going to use some WD-40, which isn't really the best choice, but it absolutely does work. So we're going to get our bit started on that spot. Okay, so the key to drilling stainless is you don't want this drill bit turning while not producing uh, a spiral of metal or chips of metal coming off. Okay, if all it's doing is spinning, you're just work hardening it. Now the pilot hole here going really slow is meaningless. It's so thin. I mean, it goes through so easily. That fooling around is just no necessary. You can see it starts cutting as soon as I turn the drill on. Okay. Pretty easy, right? Uh, one thing you want to notice is that you're going to be dropping metal shavings down on the floor. So don't do this in your living room. So I'm just going to just spray this bit down just a little bit with some WD-40. I'm going to do the sight glass hole first. It's going to be the smallest one. The best way to uh, figure out when to stop is to use the thread that you're going to be putting through here. So here's the, uh, the quarter inch MPT bushing that we're going to use. So I'm going to drill like a couple steps and check it and keep going. Alright, again, I was cutting the entire time that bit was turning. It was not spinning. If you spin this bit, you're going to uh, wear out the bit quickly because the stainless gets work hardened. So, you know, go two steps, give it a chance to cool a little bit. Another dip in oil or spritz with WD 40. Get it. And I'm putting some weight on this, that's why we put it on the floor. So I'm going nice and slow, but I'm I'm making the drill strain almost that I have so much weight on it. Another thing, you want to brace the drill against your leg so that if it wants to kick, you know that your leg is going to stop it. It's not going to spin your wrist. All right. Now I know that I'm getting to the point where I need to start checking. Okay, that's too tight. Spray. So I'm going to go to the next step and check it again. Alright, I know that that's a, the half inch step because it's very close to fitting. One more. Okay, that's 
the step. 916 fits and it's not sloppy. Okay, three steps. Cool a little bit. You know, a lot of people complain about these Chinese bits, that they don't work. Um, I'm proving that they are working, but I also wanted to note that this exact bit has drilled out um, a quarter-inch plate of stainless up to the 7 eighths already. Okay, I, I put a hole in a tri-clover uh, end cap with this bit, and it's cutting just fine, so I'm just saying, you know, the, these bits are fine, it's really the technique that will ruin it pretty quickly. Another technique that works well is to do a few steps, two or three steps from the outside and then if you can get your drill inside the pot to do a few steps or at least one, you can start deburring it back and forth. Okay, so now the interior is nice and clean while well, there's a little bit of a burr on the outside. So instead of just folding the burr out um, really harshly in one direction, you can definitely make it nicer this way. Alright, I finished the cut here. One thing I, I didn't film but is important is that I I drilled down to the 13 16 stop, which is the second to last on this small bit, in this direction, okay? Because it's a lot easier to drill when you got your weight bearing down on it. However, I want the interior of this to be clean uh, without a lot of cleanup work. So what I did was I stood the pot up and then made my last pass from the interior of the pot. It's a lot harder to do, but it it deburs the interior of the pot where it's a lot harder to clean up. Now this is a little bit rough here. I'm just going to clean it up with a little bit of sandpaper before I put the bulkhead in, but um, I, I like to finish uh, from the side where the seal occurs for any given uh, bulkhead that you're putting in. So um, again for the the sight glass I wanted my last stop to be going in from the outside, but for this I wanted it from the inside out. All right, so um, for my last hole, instead of using the uh, step bit or uni bit again, you just saw how that works, I'm going to show you how to use a conduit punch. Most people know what these are, but in case you don't, um, this is made by the company Greenly. You can get these at Harbor Freight, but I've seen really bad reviews on this, the thread stripping out here. But you make a hole in the uh, stainless large enough for this mandrel to come through, and then you put the uh, the punch in there, and uh, you just keep tightening this until those come together. And as it does this, it punches a nice clean hole. It's definitely my preferred way of doing it, but uh, we do have to go out to about the three eighths size before that will be that will go through. So I'm going to just make this hole big enough. Probably one more. Yep, one more. Now, you don't want to go too big on this because that will center. All right, that's just big enough. We'll stick with that. So that that cup goes on this side. And if you want things to happen quickly. Now you have to hold the punch side. 
but only until it makes contact with the stain. All right, because the teeth grab in, and, the, and you don't have to hold them anymore. So.